Hello everyone, you see a difference today. I'm featuring here with a different background, with different people. This is the special edition of talk show of William English Institute at Slit. This is going to be our people. We have done our sessions with our alumni. Now this will be our people. So today we have very own Chef Sampath. He's a master in patisserie to talk about patisserie world. William English Institute at Slit, we have four streams hospitality, event management, commercial cookery, and the latest edition is patisserie. Patisserie has been headed by Sampath Balapattabendige. Sampath has 35 years experience in the patisserie world. So we are here to talk about Sampath's creations, Sampath's life, and the motivation towards patisserie. Hello, Sampath. Hello, Kassan. How are you? How are you? Thank you very much for taking time to um, introduce me to the patisserie world uh, for the students' benefit. So, uh, Sampat, now, since you are a master and a, a giant in patisserie world, we would like to hear your little, little story on your way. Right. Um, I must tell you, um, my passion for patisserie has been um, with me ever since I was small. You know? yeah. uh, the main reason for this is my mom because um, she was a good cook and she used to conduct cookery classes at home so i used to go and mingle in there so that's how i fall into this trade so cookery classes for whom for the housewives housewives, housewives. Okay. housewives. Okay. so um i used to go and mingle in there so she let me in so uh, eventually i fall into the trade and i fall in love with cooking okay with the passion and um, when i started as a trainee with nab that time it was National yeah. Apprenticeship Board, which is NITA now. Yeah. And um, I um, knew sort of basics, a butter cake, a patty, a gum paste, what it is from home. So um, actually I was um, given a chance and I must uh, thankful to him all the time by Mr. Um, Deepal Amar Singh, who was the assistant manager and the chef at the time of the hotel. He recognized me. What hotel is it? This is Super Club, Super Club. Super Club, Hikadu. 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 So actually he recognized me well. The, my capabilities, my uh, ambition, so all of that. So why, actually I could not finish the NAB uh, course. And he said, Sampath, the, the talents that you have can brush up, I will put you to the hotel school. Okay. So you were an NAB trainee? Uh, I was an NAB trainee at that at time. Yeah. yeah. So, on the job training yeah. at that time, you know. So um, then uh, I got now this. Now it's NITA, I guess. Not, not no, NITA, okay. yes. And then I got this golden opportunity through him, and I was lucky enough, Kasun, to tell you um, no interviews, nothing. On a letter, I was selected to do the cookery in Ceylon Hotel basic, School. Basic, basic cookery. Basic level. Yeah, cookery. basic level cookery in Ceylon Hotel School. The batch mm -hmm. number was 119, I still remember. So it was in uh, Park it was Street. In Park Street. Street. Park it Street. was in Park Street. You know. So then um, I started the course, and then we. Um, uh, it was more like going back to school at that time. Um, very interesting. And then the time came for our practical. Who was the principal back then? Mrs. Inatikala. Mrs. Not Mrs. Inatikala. Uh, Mrs. Senvira. Ah, Mrs. Inatikala. You know, and then. Um, that is 1986. No, 1980. Uh, Five. 1985, yeah. yeah. Okay. 85. I was 85, 86, you know, 85, 86, you know. And then, um, then I got the opportunity to go to Lanka Broy, uh -huh. which is Cinnamon Grand now, yeah. uh, to do the industrial training. Uh, the training manager was Mr. Puncheva, uh -huh. right? And um, lovely Mr. Puncheva. Yes. And at that time, um, it was completely new environment, hotel concept. Now, the things I was doing at home, is more brush up and like I must say a premium quality stuff is happening in the hotel so something very new so while working there as a trainee Mr. Bunshiro left and took over Hilton as a training manager in 1987 first batch first batch so are you are you trying to say that you are a first batch of Hilton yes okay. I am. <laughs> and then from there I got the opportunity to get into Hilton through Mr. Bunshiro okay all right so I was the first batch. I was the first batch in Hilton, you know, Hilton Pastry with Chef Gerard. Uh -huh. That's another person I must 
remember all the time in my life uh, who has given this um, endless support and the knowledge for us to come into for me to come into this level today right so um, then uh, then I started my career there as a trainee obviously and you know at that time the Colombo Hilton was the premium premium hotel in Colombo at that time, that time you know and we were busy like hell you know not throughout. throughout you know morning night no time to go home no time to rest working 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 so ultimately i could not finish the hotel school right and you didn't the, complete your no basic. i didn't complete the hotel school um, in but you completed it's not, your basic i completed the cookery yeah, cookery basically. <laughs> yes yeah. and then um, rest of the four basic. no yeah. then what happened then after a year i thought no i must do something and i then it was easy for me to go to claremont while doing the work, work. at hotel yeah. then i finished over there okay right so finally i achieved something my father was very angry because i was jumping from one to the other and one to the <laughs> other without <laughs> completing yeah. so i said okay let me finish this one yeah. and i completed that okay while working in hilton okay and then i was at hilton for about um, five years i wanted to complete five years actually okay right because so I was this is a uh, you're talking about the qualification that you received the claremont yes yeah. Yes, yeah. that's a diploma. Definitely diploma. There. Yeah, that was a private hotel school at that time. That time. And Claremont yeah. and the yeah. Ceylon Hotel School, it's the only two hotel schools were in Sri Lanka. Okay, all right, all right, all right, right. So now the Claremont is closed. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Mrs. Caspers died, okay. and then uh, it was closed. It okay. is closed. So um, after that, um, I wanted to complete five years, and I did not in, a, in one place. In one place, because right. I started as the pioneer yeah. staff and the trainee, yeah. so I wanted to climb up in ladder. So by 1992, I was a second coming at Hilton. Uh -huh. So then I got the opportunity to go to Dubai. So you're close upon 10 years of five. Uh, uh, career with five years at Hilton. Yeah, abroad, five, uh, uh, eight, about eight. Yeah, eight, yeah, eight, yeah, eight, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so then um, I got the chance to go to Dubai. And um, that was also a new hotel called Royal Amcha, okay. owned by a, a, one Arabic person. But I was, you know, not very knowledgeable about Dubai and things, but it's just for the heck, you know, you mm -hmm. like to go yeah, yeah. and then you want to move out. Oh, wow. So I went. The career perspective. Career perspective. Yeah. So um, I went to Dubai um, and during in, in Sri Lanka, while I was at Hilton, um, 1986, if I'm not mistaken, was the first culinary guild. Okay, Chef Guild of okay. Sri Lanka, which at was at Hilton, at Hilton which yeah. was formed by Chef Gerard and Chef Neil Gow, who are not living the living among now. Um, so they are the two people who formed the Chef Guild of Sri Lanka. So, and I was very proud to say, I'm very proud to say that um, I was one of the uh, participants in the first so batch. So, two highlights now. First thing is first batch of Hilton. Yeah. The second one is the first batch of uh, Chef Guild. Chef Guild, so, right? Two highlights. Yes. Now. Right. So now so I was a he, he has 35 years of experience in three different regions: Asia, Caribbean, and Pacific. Right. So we'll go one by one. Right. So now we're in Asia and Middle East. Yes. Yeah. So um, I was a trainee by then, yeah. but I took part with the support of Mr. Mendes. Um, of course, I won a medal, yeah. silver medal, uh -huh. and uh, then the next year I took part for uh, cake structure, and the following year I took part for Petit Fours, which I got all silver medals. Then 1992, I left. Yeah. So within this nine, uh, 80, five years to 92, I took part in three competitions yeah. and I took uh, three medals and then I left to Dubai. So in 92, when I went to Dubai, they had this Emirates Culinary Guild, very young, started, you know. So I also in the urge that, okay, going for competition, winning medals and taking part. So, the, so I took part. And from there, I won a, a silver medal for cake as well. Okay. And then... Well, we have become regional. Yes. Local, become regional. Regional. And then, um, in the competition, there was a chef who approached me, um, a Sri Lankan, um, by the name of Mr. Peter Dikawa. He, he was at Abu Dhabi, a private club, a members club, and he offered me a job. Okay. Right? Yeah. So um, he offered me a job and uh, of course with a better salary, better position, so all of that. Um, so I took the move. You know, I was only six months in Dubai in that place now. Okay. So now I took the move. And I worked there for about one year. 
one and a half, yeah, one year to one and a half. Then I got the opportunity to go to Bahrain because they advertised sort of pastry chef portion at Bahrain Hilton. Uh -huh. Again, right? Again, Hilton. So now I have worked in two different properties, and I was now I was missing the Hilton culture, culture yeah. right? So I said, okay, fine. I just applied. I got the opportunity. So, to Sapa, now we like to hear your experience in Caribbean because very rare opportunity, right? Uh, uh, hoteliers or whoever in the industry will not get much opportunity to go to Caribbean, right? Especially work, work right. in Bahamas, Jamaica, that. Right. That's so while I was in Bahrain, yeah. um, then I came back to Dubai again because I got another better offer. Okay. And came back and worked with a company called Master Baker where they deal with all the premixes of pastry yeah. and uh, pastry. While I was working there, I was always on net, surfing for jobs, looking for opportunities and all of that. And then I got registered with a few companies, recruiting companies online. So this company called Renard International, there was a Sri Lankan lady there. She approached me and said, uh, Chef, there's a job in uh, Bahamas. I didn't know where the hell was Bahamas. So the first thing I took the map and I was trying, <laughs> trying to find out where the Bahamas yeah. is, you know. Um, okay. Then I said, okay, I will go. I will take the challenge. And so it was a seasonal job. Okay. It was a seasonal, seasonal job. job. But okay. I took, because I was a bachelor at that time. Yeah. So no commitments. Yeah, yeah. I took it. And I worked for about six months to five seasons okay season so, is about three to four months okay so and about you are being paid a full ticket to go back to your yeah. country and to come back yeah. tax-free salary so why not why not yeah. you know yeah so uh, then i work there for about almost three to four se five to six seasons and then i got the opportunity to come back to dubai again okay right you're operating from dubai yes <laughs> yes i must tell you that you know and i have been in dubai almost 12 years okay. in different times yeah. So came back to Dubai to the Royal Lodge, which is under Renaissance now. And now it is Holiday Inn. When I came back to Dubai, it was under uh, Renaissance. Renaissance. So and I came as a pastry chef to the hotel. So I was very happy where I came to Dubai from Sri Lanka. And I came back to the property after 10 years as a pastry chef to the hotel. Yeah. So uh, roughly about this is 90. Mm. This is, no, this is 2000, 2000 this is 2003, 2000. 2002, 2003, yeah. somewhere around that time. So I came there, again, the staff took part in um, uh, the culinary competitions. They got medals, I was with them all the time, like Mr. Jeremy Mr. Mendes with, uh, with us during yeah. Salon Kulia yeah. here. Uh, uh, uh. So um, then uh, what I did, um, while I was there, then I got this amazing opportunity to go to Jamaica. Jamaica. And I was about to get married at that time too. So I must Don't tell me that you got married to Jamaica. No, 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 no. Straight <laughs> after, you know? So then um, what I did, um, came home, got married, went to Jamaica. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a Caribbean uh, chain of hotels okay. called Grand Lido's. Okay. Right. And they took How did you get Jamaica? That is also through uh, the Renan. Renan. Again. Okay. Okay. Right. And then um, I went there. It was very challenging, I must say, first time, you know, the working with yeah. a little different yeah. culture. Yeah. But um, my boss was Indian. Uh -huh. uh, Closer no, to us. Yeah. yeah. And, but he lives in Canada, uh -huh. um, Mr. Joseph Stevens. Um, he was very helpful for me, to me, I must tell you, uh, to blend with the people and to get along with the people and all of that. So um, I worked there for almost one and a half years. And then I got, we had a, a Caribbean event we host in the hotel. So for that, there was FMB managers, the chefs and marketing sales, all those people were there in the key positions in the country. country okay. This, the competitor for Grand Lido's is Sandals in Caribbean. Okay. So the Sandals group FMB approached me and asked, chef, is this your work? by looking at the desert table. I said, what do you mean? I mean, I'm the pastry chef to the property. Yeah. So who, what do you think? Who else is come and do this? Yeah. Of course, with my staff. Then um, he said, if I offer you something, will you join us? I said, well, let's talk. It has to be better than this. Yeah. Should be. Right? Yeah. Should be. Yeah. And then he offered me a job in with the Sanders company. And then he gave me option of two small islands 
what is, one is Antigua and Barbuda uh -huh. and the other one is Cuba. So I said, I will take the Antigua and Barbuda. Okay. Right? I didn't know nothing about yeah. uh, Kasu, to be uh, very uh, honest. Okay, you know, oh, right. but I'm just moving. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now it's not me only. Yeah. Now with the family. Yeah. And my son is born in Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. So, right? Oh, okay. Right. So and uh, now with the family. So then I moved to uh, Antigua and Barbuda, and I worked for one year. From another recruiting company, I got the job to Pacific. Fiji. Fiji. Coming to Fiji. Now. Yes. Uh, in Fiji, yeah. um, it was an outer island. Right now, I'm not a boat fan. Uh -huh. I'm not into water. Okay. Right. You ask me. Yes. You know. ask me. You are in the Bahamas, <laughs> in Antigua, um, Caribbean, and I have never visited any islands. Okay. To be very honest, okay. I'm not friendly with okay. water. Okay. Right. So I took the opportunity. I took the opportunity, but this is a newly open property. Uh, 45 minutes away from the main island by boat. Pre-opening property. Pre-opening yeah. property. Yeah. 45 minutes away from the main islands by boat. Yeah. Now, it says 25 villas, four restaurants. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then, I must tell you, yeah. I refuse. And one week, a GM called me again and asked Sampath, what is the reason to refuse the job? I said, um, I'm not a boat fan. <laughs> Water fan. Water fan, <laughs> neither. <laughs> And um, so, since there's no flight to the island, yeah. um, and that is the reason I, that is a solely, that is the main reason. Yeah. He said, okay, if I give you an opportunity, I will provide you the flight from the airport. From airport to the island, yeah. because we are just at the ending, finishing of the tarmac yeah. in the island, but you will just have to take one ride boat just to join the company. Okay. Because the island is the airport, the flight is not here. Runaway is not ready yet. Resort is making. just making. You know, I said okay. Kasum, that was my nightmare and the worst experience. I must tell you. Now I went to uh, Fiji. We were put it in Sofitel Fiji. The family, entire family. Uh, now uh, my son is about uh, years? three years, four years four old, years, yeah. right? So we went. In the morning, uh, the, the driver came to the hotel, took us in a van to a boat. Oh my God, on the roadside, the boat is just stopped on the, on the, on the, on the beach yeah. and said, Sir, this is the boat to Lauzala Island. Yeah. Right? Now, the island name is Lauzala. Okay. Right? Oh my God, now what else to do now? There's no way to turn back. Right. Okay got into the boat. I closed my eyes for the 45 minutes. I'm not lying. That's a speedboat. No? Speedboat. Speedboat. So 45 minutes, we got into the island. Excellent experience in my life. The uh, boat ride. Boat ride yeah. as well as the island Islands. life. Uh, okay. Island life. Yeah. You know, it's all island grown stuff we use. Yeah. Nothing, no strawberries, no raspberries. You know, the palamada, the papaya, the sour sap, you, the fruit can't done in that island. Okay. I used to pick 40 kilos of guava in a day. Okay. Just for? Just for day to day, day, to day use. use. So the guava ice cream, the guava sobe, the staff get the guava juice, everything. 40 kilos of basil yeah. harvest from the hydroponics. You know, it was good experience, I must tell you. Yeah. And the island is owned by Mr. Dietrich Matichis, who is the owner of the Red Bull drink. Okay. Right? Yeah. Premium, 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 premium. Yeah. When you say premium, it's not marble and granite. All kitchens, wooden bathtubs, uh -huh. that type of. Yeah. You know, the most expensive villa was 52,000 US dollars per month. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, per night. Per night, yeah. Per night. Yeah. But you get everything into the uh, everything yeah. provided once you come to the island. Right. In house, in, in room um, barbecues, yeah. you have the plunge pool in the villa, all of that. The excursions only you pay with the yacht. Yeah. So good experience, one year. I knew when I'm going, I'm going on there only for one year because my at the time my son is at the age to go to school in a year. Yeah. And my assistant was a Fijian guy, very nice person. So when I was ready to leave, 
they offer me another offer to say to keep the family in a neighboring island with a school so that my son can go to school but i didn't want to keep them in another island for me to be in another island uh, uh, that's not going to work so i said no now the flight met i sorted out sorted out <laughs> no, every no. minute every time i want to come to the um, city. city he brought the flight yeah. he even divert a flight from air fiji for my family to come to okay he kept his word yeah. a german couple yeah. he kept his word okay i'm still in touch with them yeah. very nice couple so um then what happened um then i wanted to leave so the then he provide me another offer to keep the uh, family on another island neighboring island and the kid can go to school i said no it's not really i'm not really comfortable to keep them in an island and i'm in another island in another country we are in two different islands yeah. tsunami warnings coming so so many yeah. things you know so i left the company without a job in my hand now okay right it's interesting yes no job because of tsunami yeah no no not tsunami actually it no tsunami warnings and things uh, are coming think, uh, now the time has come for me to come out because the next year i have to put the child to the school uh, okay right uh, so i left the company without a job in hand now. Uh, uh, but did they allow it to leave they they did not they allow they they proposed me another proposal with yeah. a with a, um, a neighboring island to keep the family uh-huh. so that they child can go to school and for me to can go up yeah. and down and but i was not yeah. interested family with it yeah so then um then he um uh, told me um well this is the best we can do yeah so if you want to leave we can't do anything yeah. so i my gut feeling said that i will get something and my wife my sister they were very angry because i'm just leaving there's a child to educate uh, there's uh, no uh, job uh, and uh, the money that you earn will just vanish in a, uh, no in no, no, time. no time but i took the chance and at the same time my assistant who was a fijian guy he left and he joined shangri-la fiji okay then he called me and said chef since you're leaving the country why don't you come and stay for a couple of days here yeah. and this is a nice property for kids so just come and stay here and go so i checked into the hotel for 5 days just before i leave fiji just for a holiday just for a holiday yeah. before i leave yeah. So um for my surprise he came and told me chef I have talked about you to the HR they are looking for a pastry chef they might call you for an interview. Yeah. So the days went by the day the day that we were supposed to leave he came to the table where I will have I was having breakfast he said chef they will call you for an interview today. Then I said well I have not forwarded any CV or anything so how can they call yeah. give me the HR number so I went I took his number took her number the lady from him went to the room and I sent the I see. talked to her and I sent the CV from the room. And then she said okay I will see you in a half an hour in the lobby. So we just met and we had a casual talk. And he said some some part um, the chef is also coming on board. Um surely your CV is very impressive so I will keep this and I will talk to him and then we'll get in touch with you. Uh, the GM is also not here today to see you. Yeah. As we got up and we were trying to apart and she said oh GM is coming let me check with him whether he can see you. So she talked to the GM. She said, "Okay, come over. Yeah. Just a couple of questions." He said, "Can you be outside for a few minutes?" So I knew the job is going to come. Yeah, okay, okay. The next two minutes, uh, she called and said, uh, "When can you start?" Yeah. You know. Now this is at Shangri-La Fiji yeah. Resorts and Spa, right? So I said, "Well, I have no rush to go home now, but in January I need to go. This is in September." But the, you have a flight on the same day. Yeah, I have a flight on yeah. the same day, yeah, yeah. right? um then uh, anyway they can't uh, take me to the hotel because i was in another work permit uh, 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 with another company another company okay so anyway she took us to the house she said tell me whatever you have to change the curtain she told me to call my wife and show the house and all of that and we took the flight on that day leaving everything just with one bag to australia okay just have to get out of the country to come, come back okay um they were very nice i must tell you the shangri-la the gm at that time the italian uh, guy He said, "Chef, um, if you don't have a place to stay, I will organize a Sydney Shangri-La for you to stay." But okay. me as a Sri Lankan, yeah. with my pride, I didn't want to go and stay in Shangri-La before I do yeah. join the Shangri-La. hotel. You know, yeah. I said, "No, I have enough places, and if I have an issue, then I will let you know." Yeah. And thank you very much for the offer. And I went back in two weeks. They sent me my work permit, and I came back to Shangri-La. Yeah. Yeah. But I must highlight something here in in um, Kasun in Jamaica. There was this fruit yeah. and a vegetable type like tomato. So now we are in Fiji, right? Uh, Jamaica. This is in Fiji, Fiji, but there's something happened in, in Fiji. Fiji. I'm going to highlight okay. this. Okay. 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 So that was my life story yeah. for the 35 years. Yeah. 
but in Jama in Jamaica I saw this tree like Kajupuhula uh -huh. in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. They cashew. call it yeah cashew. Cashew, you know. Uh, they call it You're so fond of Puhulama? Or Puhulama. Puhulama. Okay. Yes, it's yeah. a Puhulama, right? So it's um, so um, when I saw so it's this, common in Jamaica, well as in Fiji. That's what you're trying. Not to in say. Fiji. Okay, in Jamaica. Oh, in Jamaica. Now I'm diverting myself to Jamaica to highlight this story. Yeah, okay. okay. Going back to Jamaica. Yes, and this the Puhulama like thing catches my eye, uh -huh. and I liked it very much. So I went and I looked for this yeah. to see that these people are eating only the segment inside, and they are eating with salt fish only. Okay. So that's their traditional uh -huh. okay. dish. That's okay. Right? That is in that um, Caribbean Favel song as well. Okay. You know? Uh -huh. yeah. They mentioned that all in there. Aki and salt fish uh -huh. with dumpling. Yeah. So that's their breakfast, breakfast. main meal. So I asked from the staff, have you all used this for any desserts? No, sir. We don't use this. We only eat ja Aki and salt fish. Yeah. Right? That's what they answer. So I said, why not I try something? And so I tried a cheesecake with flavoring aki yeah. using the aki, aki. puree, uh, uh, uh. right? Okay. So it came out well. Not this cheesecake. No. <laughs> right. So yeah. these people start telling me, yeah. "Oh, you're gonna kill the people, and yeah. we don't eat it like this and that." You know, they are in the box. Yeah. Uh. You know. I said, "No, we'll see you how this can work." That. So I took the segments out, I dipped in chocolate and I served it for cocktails and the chef did some salads with that. So now the aki is going all over the all place over in the place, uh, yeah. property. Yeah. So the GRO, public relation, she was very fancy and she came and she asked from me, chef, can we do a paper article? Uh -huh. I said, go for it. Yeah. I'll come to that because I have a very special thing for you, what Sampath has done. Being a Sri Lankan, I'm very proud to interview him. I'll, I'll come to that point. So, I'll keep it for a while. Right. It's a surprise for right. everyone, right? <laughs> I now will come to uh, uh, the common thing we both, Sampath and Aisha, William Mangles Institute at Slate. Yeah. Right. So, why Sampath is here, William Mangles Institute at Slate in Sri Lanka, we are operating a different uh, curriculum with patisserie. Sampath is headed by that one. Sampath, you need to talk about the course a bit. Yeah. Or so now uh, the patisserie um, i was very happy and i got this opportunity to join william Engels um, institute in st malambe uh, campus um, so um, uh, once i came here he um, the center director mr steven he talked to me about this um, uh, new course that they're planning to start so well i took the challenge you know? So, oh, it's very interesting. William English into that state, the first time that Sri Lanka, we catered an Australian qualification, purely purely focusing on patisserie. patisserie. You can talk about the, yeah. the course. So, the course is quite vast, you know. Um, there's a lot of, um, there's, we have about 32 units in the course. course. Um, it's a certificate four. In certificate four. Yeah. And it's not only um, when you say patisserie, they have the basic knowledge of the vegetable cuts and the meats uh, and things the like cookings that, yeah. and methods and stuff like that as well. But they go into the at the third four level, they go into the uh, management, the something. management something as well as then we have or oh, the, the, the the show pieces, the pull sugar, the chocolate um, uh, ah. sculptures and things like things that are happening in the same, same. course. So, right. yeah, they are the same course looking at the management perspective. We have managing conflict, managing diversity, diversity. And, and how and do you work yes, in all, all yeah. yeah. So, we have them in yeah. culinary as well here, yeah. but then that is incorporated in the, in uh, the patisserie course as course. well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we have already started one first batch. First batch. First batch. You we'll have. Uh, um, I have uh, fourteen students. Fourteen students. Fourteen students. We just limit. Actually, I just request to limit for fifteen students because the facility. Yeah. Since we are getting coming with a yeah. new, new facility. Yeah. Right. We are getting, getting a new building. Yes. Yeah. So then we will definitely Ta expand. Uh, we say the tailor made. Patisserie kitchen. Patisserie kitchen. Tell me, patisserie. You won't get that aroma. I have chocolates here, hazelnuts, uh, chocolate, um, black forest cake, and I am getting aroma. So I <laughs> have the feeling here. Right. I want so, you to feel it uh, while you are listening. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And then these are all real stuff. Real stuff. Real, real stuff. stuff. Yeah. Then um, the the um, 
the course is designed in such a way we have still not gone into practical yet yeah. you know uh, well i'll be taking care of the culinary patisserie units as well we started very we recently, started right? very recently yeah. and we have been doing it now for a couple of batches couple. i have done um uh, quite interesting students are very interested to see this you know i do not know uh, when it comes to patisserie um, everyone have something you know i'm not saying the culinary does not but the patisserie more of ladies you know yeah the cheesecake, cheesecake the yeah. black forest yeah. cake yeah. tiramisu yeah. panna cotta yeah. Yeah. when they say i mean that's ladies stuff yeah. Yeah. you know they they really like these things and also the 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 garnishes the decorations the cake the, the structures yes, you sir. make you know the the little sugar flowers you make with icing so you know i do all of that yeah i so, we have another another thing to talk right. about it yes. later so uh sapat now what's the impression of kids i mean your student towards patisserie well um, we know in in sri lanka if you take commercial cookery or cookery there is a taboo why people are doing cookery why why do they why why they go even in hospitality why people go to hospitality industry but your case is different it's patisserie it's a different area it's a niche market i would say so there so what's the impression towards patisserie so you me- meeting them regular basis and yes. the young kids like yeah. the 18 18 to 25, 25 years yeah. yes so yeah. they're young kids 14 solid people solid people uh, they're quite um, interesting actually they keep on asking me chef when are we starting practicals uh. you know so i said that before the practical we have some basic stuff that you need to know yeah. before we go into the kitchen kitchen you know when you go to the kitchen we are dealing with machinery equipments you know yeah. so they have to be they have to be briefed how do we work with them and how to take care of the things so before we go into the, they are quite they are quite um, i must say they are very interested in this they are you interested know, in they are interested okay. in this and i came to know from some culinary students as well because we did not have the patisserie earlier, earlier. they selected the culinary yeah. you know is it just because of hands on or it's just uh, the i believe it's a creativity. Creativity. creativity it's a creativity the passion that you have yeah. you know you know even at home in me when i saw my mom was doing a cake so i was just behind that yeah. and i wanted i knew how to make a, a gum paste flour when i came to, when i joined the hotel okay yeah yes right. i brush up myself okay. with the other exposure, exposure yeah. you know um and also i must say i studied um pool sugar uh, course in washington dc in uh, united states with this world It famous will. chef uh, evel not a yeah. school of sugar craft you know that is when first time when mr mendis mr gerard mendis when he did that in the school i said to myself in the in the hotel i uh, said i said to myself one day i'm going to do this but at that time it was a big dream you know yeah. from sri lanka to go to states yeah. and to do this yeah. and the money the everything is involved but then somehow other i achieved that so i'm very happy on that too so i'm you know? surprised we were talking about we have not forgotten our housewives and those who love to do patisserie to be with patisserie to go with patisserie we started our short courses on cakes dessert patisserie and breads so all all four yeah, yeah all four and i actually i designed this course the weekend course i designed it to catch the housewives and the ladies, ladies. especially yeah. you know not only that, ladies not only ladies i mean the, there are people who like to do like me yeah, yeah. there are there are people who like to cook at home yeah, there are people yeah. who like to come and learn how to do a cake yeah, and yeah. how to do a dessert yeah, yeah. so that's why we put these four streams together uh, the, the the bread the cake the desserts and the pets so when are you starting well we are starting in october i'm okay. sure the marketing is next already month. yeah next month. marketing is already yeah. on the move to get the paper yeah. and um I believe this Saturday course will be a successful one. It will be a Saturday. You know? Yeah. Cook with uh, Cook Sampath. Cook with Sampath. Sampath. Yeah. yeah. No? Patisserie with and Sampath. Definitely. Say. You know. So, um, and I actually, I. So, pro- these the four areas are cakes. These are cakes, desserts, pastries and the uh, breads. Breads, yeah. Right? Yeah. But now, I'm not going to do here a butter cake. Yeah. Yeah. you know so talk about yeah. it. Yeah. So, and I'm going to step into a uh, next, next level. Next level. Back. black forest which you will cover the sponge as well in the black forest cake okay, yeah. and then the uh, 
big cheesecake which okay. is a very famous very famous one, one among the ladies now also in colombo, yeah. now in colombo yeah. as well yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so like that i'm not going to when you say bread i'm not going to do a just and a red roll sticky toffee pudding sticky toffee pudding sticky toffee pudding is another famous yeah, dessert yeah, you know yeah. that is in desserts yeah all right on and panna cotta sticky toffee pudding and um also, also apple crumble yes. you know so things like that almond tart almond tart you know right. uh, and then now like even there it's now sticky toffee <laughs> pudding is a little at extra, the end, extra thing you know it's not like a cream caramel or what yeah, yeah. you know and i'm not going to it's only show people them know about yeah, it. yeah few people know yeah, about yeah. it yeah. you know and i'm not going to uh, show them how to make a cream caramel that is for my patisserie yeah, students yeah, okay Yeah. you know yeah. because they are coming from the scratch yeah. now this is designed for people some somewhat they know something yeah. you know yeah. to brush them up themselves so when i say bread i'm not going to do a loaf of bread and a roll yeah now i have put some savory bread here yeah. what, what my intention for this savory bread is to go with the pearl sambal theme which i'm trying uh, which i'm doing with moldy fish coconut and chili flakes authentic authentic and with the bread and then the fried curry leaves on top okay right Spons so ordering now here so um, <laughs> that is not a bread yeah, yeah, as yeah. A just a normal yeah. bread you buy from the market yeah, yeah, yeah. you know okay. so something like that yeah. you know i just want to diverse the basic stuff from nowadays, nowadays. trend trend and do things mm. and i always i always do that even at home even at home, even at home you know so um, the, even the pastries i will definitely do the puff pastry because that's a pastry that they should know how to do is and how properly do it the foldings the buttering the layerings all of that you know that is in there and the sweet paste the normal sweet paste which you can do normal pie dough which you can do quiche and other stuff as well and i have introduced in, in introduced one jamaican delicacy there as well no, called gizada uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So uh, you will get this advertisement while we are talking on the screen you will have the details please get all the information talk to us and get involved for this uh, patisserie course but this is a lovely course it's a superb course those who are participating you get a uh, Recipe. Yeah, recipe. refreshments recipe. as well as a uh, recipe booklet recipe. For and the a certificate, certificate from William English Institute yeah. Street for yes. the participation. So yeah. let's cook with some pot, <laughs> right? So um, so now uh, coming to the building, right? First time in Sri Lanka, we are getting a a building that tailor made, uh, rather uh, it's uh, customized. for uh, bakery bakery well equipped bakery well equipped ba- yeah. bakery along with the hospital yes so why don't you talk about bakery about well story? um the the bakery now when you say uh, patisserie it's a different environment completely than the hot kitchen yeah so you need to have the cool and cool and calm and, calm and well sealed a kitchen to do your work especially the chocolates the sugar when it comes to that and for the show pieces you need to have that environment so i'm very much thankful to mr veer singh to providing that to the school for the benefit of the students St- our new students benefit of the nation nation benefit actually of the nation. benefit of the nation so mm-hmm. i must say that um, i'm uh, 100% committed to provide the f- full course with all the basics going into the top level, top level. right with the knowledge that i have acquired in years around the globe right around the globe S- to put in in here so visit our website to see the expansions or call us the numbers are appearing on the screen to get the uh, information so going back to sampath story i i said sampath is very pressured and to have him here i'm so so happy being a sri lankan because in this book this is a coffee table book which is published in um, jamaica his recipe is being published along with sampat so sampat akhi okay. yes yeah. that's a fruit yeah. this is a fruit yeah. that you have it yeah. it just looks like a, yeah. a cashew actually from the from the uh, it's not cashew it's not cashew it's not cashew there's a small segment inside the fruit okay that is what you use and 
now any what, hotels you see? No, 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 so when I did Bake that, or just, just a normal cheese, just, uh, chill, uh, cheesecake, yeah. right? So once I um, did this, the lady in the hotel, the PRO, the GRO. Uh, yeah, GRO, she wanted to send a, a paper advertisement about this recipe and highlighting me and saying that no uh, Caribbean chef uses this and take this to another level. Yeah. So a Sri Lankan chef who took this to yeah. another level and all yeah. that stuff. So there was a p- big paper article about this where uh, TV Jamaica came and request for a program. Okay. So I did a uh, TV program so as well. Celebrate you there. Very much. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so what so is this uh, coffee table book you have? Uh, the, the, yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Uh, the book says a name Jamaica. Name, even name, your, yeah. your first name is the word for, um, a slang word for eating. Okay. In Jamaica. Okay. Naming. Yeah. That's what they say. Uh-huh. Naming. So the book is called Name Jamaica with a lot of uh, Caribbean chefs are highlighted in this, yeah. uh, Jamaican, uh-huh. right? So what happened was once a, once a TV program ha- broadcasted, uh, uh, a very author, author from uh, Barbados by the name of uh, Rosemary Parkinson, yeah. she approached me and asked whether I can submit a recipe for her book because she's doing a book from Caribbean okay. flavors. Which I was very happy. Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So um, I um, uh, I gave the book, I gave the recipe, yeah. and then she published that. And I just came to know last year, this book has been selected as the best Caribbean recipe book. You know, so which was making me very proud. I must tell you, you know, I flew twenty four hours to go to Caribbean, and I make a footprint there. Oh yes, you know yes. When you say 12 hours, it's just a flying 24 hours only. Eh? Flying from here to UK, 12 yeah. hours, and from UK to Jamaica, 12 hours. So the flying 24 hours. No, because it's very, very seldom to find people who put their food, footprints in Jamaica, the Caribbean. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. You get South Asian region, yes, fine. Yeah. Sri Lanka, yeah. it's fine. Middle East, it's fine. Yeah. But in Jamaica, the. Yeah. Uh, I, Caribbean, must, the I must tell you, Cam, um, uh, Kasun, uh, they're very nice people. If you're nice with them, they're nice to you too. Uh, you can be nasty they're if they're nice nasty. And they are they're super, super yeah, nice. They are. They are. They're so still in touch with yeah. me. You know, my staff was with me. They're still in touch with me. They still call for Christmas and my birthday and all that, yeah. you know. And I have a little tight in Jamaica because maybe my son was born there. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. he has residence there. Okay. So, don't know whether I will end up in Jamaica, <laughs> in Jamaica one, day. one day. You know, you never so, know. <laughs> Uh, we have come to the end of this show because this is a very special epi- episode. We are starting from today. We'll be we'll be talking to all our people, our people. So people make difference here. We have the nice building. We have nice uh, culture, but people make difference anywhere, right? Especially in hospitality industry. So even though we are hotel school, we are not really hotel school. We are hotel management school. We look at all all possibilities, all avenues to give the maximum to our uh, students. So, Sampath is the first episode. We will be having a series of episodes uh, to talk about it. So, Sampath, what is your message to the public? Well, um, I keep on saying this to the students in the classes now, you know. Uh, you can't be in a shell. You have to explore yourself. And you need to have the passion and the dedication. Passion and the dedication. Passion, passion and the dedication for you to go up in ladder. When we work at Hilton, I still remember the days, cousin. We did not have a time to take a break. But we did not complain at that time. We make the fun of it and we work. But that is being paid off now. Yeah, that is being paid off now. That is being paid off now. Yeah. And I always keep this in mind to uh, Mr. Amar Singh and Chirat Mendes, who were the two key people in my life gave me the opportunity so to come up, in come up in ladder and Mr. Mendes is still in touch you know he's still recognized yeah. you know and um, we in touch with each other you know so he's in the chef guild now and I tell the students you need to come out think out of the box create something, create something. cooking patisserie maybe culinary whatever it is cooking is a creativity you know now the people even now Sri Lankan dish I will share one experience with you with Peter Kuruvita's restaurant. Okay. 
Um, I uh, dined there once in, in Fiji. No, in, in Fiji. Fiji. He has a restaurant in Fiji, yeah. in Shepherd. Yeah. Now, my son is a rice and curry fan. Wherever he go, he will order rice, uh, rice and curry. So the man ordered the fish curry when we went there. You know the fish, how the fish curry came? Um, a bowl of rice garnished with balsam ball and mm -hmm. coriander leaves on okay. top. Sri Lankan right? authenticated. Yeah. P -p coriander leaves on top. Yeah. Oh, sorry, curry leaves. Okay. Fried curry leaves and uh, balsam ball on top. Decorated. Uh, a piece of fish grilled on the plate with julians of carrots and leeks just on top. Just to give a little color. A Chinese, Sri Lankan Chinese roll. What we make at home. A half of the Chinese roll, slice it up and fan it on the plate, mm -hmm. on the side. Mm -hmm. And then, in a small uh, jar, the curry sauce. What is the curry sauce is... Um, <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. That's what. Yeah. So that is the curry sauce. Yeah. So the, the impression, the, 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 the look of it, you know, if you look at it, what we ate at home, Malu mm -hmm. and bat, bat, yeah. with Paul Sambo. Yeah, different wording. Yeah, different wording. Yeah. So this is different wording and this has gone to Australia and come back to Fiji yeah. and serving on a, in, a, in a restaurant in Fiji on a plate for $225. The creativity. Creativity, the creativity. right there. So you can, even your Halma, Sang, Daduma and Paripu can present in a different way and we can definitely get... Um, real feeling of it and we can provide the customer the satisfaction the guests a new concept of uh, cooking today the discussion points we all talk about patisserie and how the passion made possible not only passion made possible you can have a passion it, it can be possible but if you don't have creativity again it will be it will be halted at one point so this episode we were talking about all about the patisserie thank you very much with us i'll be meeting with you with another episode with a different discipline or maybe different activity thank you very much Sampath. thank you very much for watching thank you cousin thank you very much